These days, home buyers are looking for real value. And while price is important, real value isn't just about today, it's also about all the days to come. Because as the years go by, a well-designed home will improve your life. And a well-built home will keep looking good day after day. At Dale Alcock Homes, we've built a reputation for homes that are good value for today and for tomorrow. Would you like to be a millionaire? I think if most of us are honest with ourselves, we would like to be millionaires. But who are millionaires? We think of pop stars, movie stars, sports people who earn millions if not billions of dollars. We think of big business owners. We think of executives, entrepreneurs like Richard Branson. And sure, these people are millionaires. But are most millionaires like these people? No, they're not. They're ordinary people like you and I. They could be living right next door. Wealth is not living an extravagant lifestyle. Wealth is not about how much money you earn. Wealth is about what you are worth. So how wealthy are you? Here's a simple test. Add up the value of everything you own, your house, your car, all your possessions, including your furniture, any investments you might have, rental properties, stocks and shares, and then add up everything you owe, your mortgage, credit cards, personal loans, and subtract this from the value of what you own. You probably have a positive number. and You probably think that's how wealthy you are, but you'd be wrong because now you have to subtract the value of your house, the value of your furniture and personal possessions, and the value of your car, because these are things that you need to live your everyday life. They aren't really part of your wealth. Once you've subtracted that, you might find you have a zero amount, and many people even have a negative amount. They have negative wealth. So how wealthy are you? And one more little test. If you lost your job today, how long could you survive financially? Many people live just from paycheck to paycheck. If you did lose your job, you might have to sell your house and sell some of your possessions and rent a house. But that would be a short-term proposition. You would soon run out of money. If you were lucky enough to own some investments, you might sell those as well. And you might be able to survive a little bit longer. But for how long? Two months, three months, six months. Eventually, you're going to run out of money. A truly wealthy person would not have to sell everything because they have passive income. That means they make money from their investments. Take this for example. If you owned a rental property and it earned $1,500 a month in rent, and after costs were taken out, you still had $1,000, you've got a passive income of $1,000 a month. Now, that might not be enough to live off, but your aim should be to make your passive income at least equal to the amount of money you earn from your daily job. So what makes a millionaire? What traits do most millionaires have in common? Well, there are seven main things. Firstly, they live well within their means. That means they spend less than they earn. And not just a little bit, but a lot. They spend a lot less than they earn, so they have money to invest. Secondly, they invest wisely. They know the market. If they're investing in real estate, they know their local real estate market. So they know when it's a good time to buy, when it's a good time to sell. They know if something is a bargain or not. The same if they are investing in shares. They follow the stock market every single day. And they have good spending habits. They are not spendthrifts. They are not impulse buyers. They don't get sucked in by advertising. They budget and they balance and they know exactly what they're going to buy, how much it's going to cost. Remember, being wealthy is not spending a lot of money. That will only send you broke. Wealthy people spend wisely. And they have earned their wealth. They didn't receive an inheritance from their parents, nor did they get financial help from their parents in any way. Most millionaires living next door to you and I have started from scratch and they have earned every penny that they have got through their own hard work. They monitor their investments. 
If they invest in real estate, they keep an eye on the real estate market every single day. So they know when it's a good time to buy, when it's a good time to sell, when to spot a bargain. If they invest in shares, they monitor the share market every day. So they know once again, when do you sell, when do you hold? They choose the right occupation. Sure, some self-made millionaires are high-paid professionals, but most are not. Most run their own businesses, or at least work in a job where they have some control over how much they earn each week. They don't just show up for 48 hours a week and get paid for that. They earn commissions and bonuses over and above their base salary. Think of becoming wealthy a little bit like becoming fit. When you see a group of joggers running along the side of the road, you think to yourself, why are they running? They're already fit, they're already thin, they look great. Why are they running? Well, they look like that because they do run and they run every single day. And building a fortune, becoming a millionaire is exactly the same. You have to work on it every single day. It's all up to you. Next up, we visit with David McKenzie of Oliphant's Real Estate, who's this week's insider. It was the people side of real estate that generated my strongest interest 